The culinary space is buzzing with a fairly new trend. A cafe that's not quite a bar and not quite a restaurant. A hybrid of sorts offering a casual hangout atmosphere over food and drinks. Quite a number to speak of in Mumbai. Their social in Lower Parel, Monkey Bar in Bandra, and the latest to hit the food circuit would be the six month old cafe lounge, The House. Located in Mumbai's Versova area on a buzzing main road, the house has a bungalow like layout. It greets you with an open porch area with wooden bar stools, Victorian wall lamps, and 3D inspired sketches on the walls. There's also a tree growing through the middle with hanging Edison light bulbs. The place is decked up with flowering plants and a spiral blue staircase leading to the floor above. Upon entering, you'll find a ground level bar with a lounge set up with a small dance floor. Wooden furniture, graffiti across the walls, a couple of quirky works of art to speak of and colourful dim lights to channel the party mood. As you head upstairs via the lit up indoor stairway, the theme somewhat changes. The upper level of the bar is decked up like a living room, books on the shelf, cushions thrown on the sofas, quite appropriate for more sit-down dinners and conversations. There's also an open rooftop which doubles up as an alfresco dining place with metallic dining tables, rainbow graffiti and colourful chairs. Now the house takes its name very seriously because you do feel like you've stepped into someone's cosily done up bungalow. The indoor lounge makes for a chilled out party environment but I prefer the outdoors which gives a quirky cafe-like vibe. Now this is really the idea. The combination of a cafe and a lounge and restaurants today are bringing this concept to the culinary space here in India. In terms of the drinks, the bar has a range of cocktails. The Jim Beam Pitcher, the House Delight. The options for mocktails are limited. So I just tried the Mango Tango. It's one of the signature mocktails here at the house. Um, it's got a bit of a citrusy flavour about it. Not much innovation to speak of, but um, it's refreshing nonetheless. Uh, but I've been told that in terms of the food, the main courses here change every day. So I've picked for myself the chicken garlic mash, which you can see scribbled on the blackboard behind me. And I'm just going to see how that goes. Grilled chicken topped with exotic vegetables with garlic mashed potato served with black pepper sauce. This did not disappoint, but the portion's huge and meant to be shared. The house doesn't have mains printed on the menu, offering five specials instead, written on this blackboard. Every main course we plan every day fresh, something new, something unique, like continental base. Sometimes we add Indian dish, but uh, mo mostly we use continental base, like Italian, some Spanish, some American. We are making the food just like uh, the house special. The guests, they are feeling we are at home. Well, the food here is a mishmash of multiple cuisines, from Italian, Thai, Chinese and Indian. You've also got a special seafood menu and salads for the health conscious. The dishes are carefully crafted and presented well. Among the starters, Offerings range from the baby potato alapeno balls served with sweet chilli sauce to the cheese stuffed chilli milli kebab sprinkled with chaat masala and served with green chutney. In the seafood category, the butter garlic chilli prawn is deemed a favourite among guests. And in the vegetarian section, the chef recommends the beetroot stuffed pasta with tomato sauce and exotic vegetables. Overall. The house holds potential as a hangout for those looking for a nice place to get a quiet drink in the evening. It also doubles up as a party place in the night, adding to the number of cafe lounges that exist in the city.